Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, September 28th, and it's time to go to our meeting. I am feeling pretty optimistic. I think I lost at least my pound. That's all I'm hoping for. I'm often also optimistic about this uh, holder. It's just a cheap holder that I got at the five and below store. So I, you know, you get what you pay for, I guess. But uh, I have a problem with my dash because I don't have a flat dash. Mine is like a curved dash, so it's kind of hard to set something on top of there. Uh, my vents are lower so that if I put the thing, the clip into the vent, you just see the steering wheel. You don't see me. You just see my, you know, my chest. Uh, the one I have in the corner over there rattles a lot, although I think this one rattles too. I had one that you sucked onto the uh, windshield but then it obstructs my view. So I think I'm just destined, my kids probably just put a hex on me that I can't videotape in the car. <laughs> they don't like when I videotape in the car. They don't, they don't like these walks. But I, I don't know what the difference is between just talking to the road or talking to somebody that's sitting next to me, because to me it's, it's the same thing, I think. But uh, anyway, uh, Ange, the brat, over at Smack Vision, texted me this morning to wish me luck. That was so nice of her. I, um, I'm feeling pretty good. I really am. I, I've got all my exercise in all week. I've done that. Um, what else did I do? You know, I forgot to put my key. I just noticed I have, I keep everybody's, no, I shouldn't tell you that. Well, anyway, I have everybody's keys to their house in my car here in case they call me and I need to come over to their house for any reason. And I used them at Christie's house the other day when she had her furniture, but I forgot to put them back in the car. So I got to see what I did with them. Easily distracted, but anyway, so um, I, I do think that between all my exercise and really watching what I've eaten this week has really helped me out. I was a little leery, I'll be honest with you, eating those crackers and that popcorn yesterday just for the sodium content because uh, sodium is not my friend. I really kind of grab onto that and hold onto that all the time, but anyway, um, done raining all night supposed to rain during the day today too so we'll see how the day goes with the weather but I have Alyssa I left her at the house um, she said she'd be fine my meeting's only half an hour I did want to run over to Kohl's because I have Kohl's cash that I want to spend <coughs> and Kohl's is like right there by the uh, studio remember the name so uh, <coughs> I thought I'd swing by there real quick and see if I can spend my cash before it expires. I think it expires tomorrow. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I really prefer not to shop on a Sunday. I don't like to shop on a Sunday. So when I was growing up, way back in the olden days, <clears throat> the, uh, the, I'm, you're going to have to put up with this now for the next three or four weeks because when the seasons change, my sinuses rebel. And uh, I don't get all the sneeziness, but I get all the uh, the drip. I know TMI, but anyway. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but when I was growing up, they, uh, the stores weren't open on Sundays at all. It was very hard to find a store open on Sundays. Uh, and the only nights they were open was Saturday, uh, Thursday, <clears throat> Thursday, Mondays and Thursdays, Mondays and Thursday nights, because Saturdays they rolled up shop at five o'clock. All the stores, all the major stores, just all closed. And you know what? We survived. We really did. But uh, I don't like that anymore. I remember when I was younger, there were so many kids out playing all the time. I, and I know that it was because there was bigger families, and there wasn't all of the, you know, internet and iPhones and cable news and cable TV and all that and uh, it just and there wasn't really a lot of money to spend on a lot of things so you had to make your imagination because we played so many games you know like tag and frozen tag and statue tag and red rover red rover and red light green light and mother may I and Simon says and we jump rope and we played jacks I know to people nowadays they think oh my gosh that sounds so boring checkers and then on the one day a week at the park, there'd be like a... Okay, 
so we knew that was going to happen. So then that means that we're done. But anyway, I guess um, the gods are see, speaking to me saying, Sandy, we don't want to hear about your childhood. That was boring. <laughs> we're just going to fly along over here. Let's knock her off. Knock, knock it off. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're almost at the meeting anyhow. So I will talk to you afterwards and let you know how I did. You see what you can achieve when you're not greedy? All I wanted was a pound. That's all I was working for this week was a pound. But I lost 2.1. I've now lost 76.7 pounds and I'm 227.5. I told you I'm never going to see those 30s again. Ever, ever, ever. I'm on my way. Um, I'm only 0.3 and I'm only 0.3 away from my highest loss, which was 77 pounds. I can't wait. I just can't wait. 227.5. I'm on my way to the teens. Look out, brat. Look out. Here I come. She's still about five pounds. I think she's 5.3 ahead of me because I think she's two. Last Monday, I think she was 222.2, I think. So I think she's five and a half pounds or 5.3 pounds ahead of me. She's She's got to be slowing down here soon. I don't want her to stop losing. Just not as no, I still want her to lose. I really do. I want her to get into the teens before me because then I'll feel all the more victorious when I get to the two tens before her. So, you know what, Brat? You can get to the teens before me. You know what, Gina Pearson? You can get to the teens before me because you know what? I'm going to get there. I'm going to get to the two tens before you guys, before the both of you, because I'm on a move now. I'm on the move. I'm going. I'm on my way. Um, I'm also one point three pounds behind Sue over at Sue Slims Down. And she got to uh, Wonderland before me. But you know what? I'm going to get to the 100 pounds before her. I got four, three people there that are chasing after me. And, and I'm a little bit behind. I'll admit I'm a little bit behind. But you know what? Don't ever count this old dog out. Because you know what? I'm on the move and I'm going to be doing it. And I'm going to be showing you. And then you're just going to say, where did she come from? I came from behind and I passed you by. So, okay, um, I got to get home because, well, I'm going to go to Kohl's first. And um, then I'm going to go home and see what um, Melissa wants for lunch. And then get on with my day and stay healthy. So, okay, I'll see you guys uh, at breakfast. Okay, we're going to eat a healthy breakfast. Pass by McDonald's. So I start my day with a prayer and I drink 50 ounces of water. My quote is, the success of your achievements are produced are predicted by your enthusiasm for pursuing them. It's a seven point breakfast, 23 smart points, zero for my egg, banana, berries, tea, and water. One point for my uh, two slices of center cut bacon, four points for an English muffin, zero for my tablespoon of sugar-free jelly, and two points for my cheese stick. Uh, it's a seven point breakfast, so I still have 16 points left for the rest of my day. Okay, after the meeting, I went to um, Kohl's, and I had a $10 gift card, and I ended up spending like $35 on myself. On myself. That's unheard of. I never spend money on myself. I always spend it on other people, but I never spend it on myself. But um, I did buy another pair of um, jeans. They're like a, they're called, what were they called? Coastline Blue. It's like a blue. It's not a blue jean. And it's not like a navy blue, it's a blue. And that was like, that's really out of my comfort zone, like a, a colored jean. And uh, I'm just, um, and it was an 18. <laughs> I just, I just, when I get them, when I put them on, I thought, I, I just can't believe it. I just, I, I'm still, I just can't believe it. I bought, so I bought the jeans and then I found a sweater that I liked, um, that matches a pair of pants that I have um, that are wine color. And when I got up to the counter to pay for the jeans and the shirt, the sweater, which do not match at all, uh, the lady just kind of looked at it and looked at me and then, you know, kind of like thought, do you not realize these don't match? <laughs> they don't go together. And uh, But she didn't say anything. And then I did say to her, I said, you know, I have a shirt that matches this at home, but I have a pants that match this, this top. And so she says, oh, she says, I didn't know if you really, you know, I thought maybe you thought that they went together. And I personally don't think they do. And I go, I would agree with your assessment. They do not go together. But uh, I said, but, you know, this is quite an accomplishment for me because it's an 18. I don't wear an 18. And it's a large, the sweater was a large. Did I mention that? I went from a 3X to a large and from a 34 to an 18. So I was just feeling pretty darn proud of myself. 
Then I got home and uh, made Alyssa lunch and she ate ramen noodles, which I don't like, but my grandkids seem to love it. And uh, so then what did I have? Oh, and I had my breakfast. You saw my breakfast. I had my normal breakfast. And then I just watched TV a little bit. And then Jimmy came to pick her up and then we just sat and talked for a little bit. He was at my other son Danny's putting a, a, car, a floor in. My Danny bought a pull up his carpet and was putting in a hardwood floor. So Jimmy helped him put that in. Well, actually, Jimmy put it in and Danny just probably watched. Me. <laughs> but anyway, um, and so then we just talked about different things. And then he left and then I thought, you know, I'm kind of hungry. I want dinner because it was later in the day because I ate my breakfast at 1.30 and it was about 5.30, 6 o'clock. And I kept seeing these commercials today for the Taco Bell. And so I kept thinking, do I have enough points? Do I have enough points? And I looked it up before I went and a chalupa is 11 points, which is high. Because I was complaining about the six-point meatballs for four meatballs. And here I'm going to pay 11, play 11 points for a chalupa. But I thought, I'm going to have a chalupa. And I had a small Coke. So the chalupa was 11, and the small Coke um, was 10. The, the pop was almost as much as the chalupa. So that was 21 points. And I had used seven points for my breakfast, so that's 28 points. I get 23 points. You can go five over or 10 below. I went to five over, so I still made my blue dot. I still have my 42 weeklies. I had what I wanted to have because it tasted really good. It really did. Now, I know that that's going to be a major sodium gain, so thankfully I only weigh myself at the meetings, and so I won't have to know that. But tomorrow I know I'll feel a little, you know, bloated in that. But I'll, I'll be right back on track tomorrow. I know that because... Uh, 2.1 loss. I, I mean, you know, I'm kind of feeling kind of proud of myself and I'm thinking I'm doing pretty well and I'm really thinking I, I think I'm back. I really do think I'm back and um, I, I just want to thank Angela and Sue and Gina and everybody else out there that's just rooting me on and cheering me on and go Team Sandy because I'm just really... I've got my mind back in the game. I, I'm really back. I really am back. And I know I've said this in the past, and I've said it a lot of times in the past, but uh, this time I believe it. Before when I said it, I didn't really, totally, truly believe it. I thought I believed it, but I didn't really believe it. But I really believe it now because um, I'm on a mission, and I'm going to do it, you know, because uh, I'm going to give myself a really nice Christmas present this year, and that's to be as close as I can to Wonderland. Sue has already made it to Wonderland, I am jealous of her that she's made it to Wonderland, but uh, I'll get there. I know I will. So um, other than that, I'll do a little video tomorrow on my way to church. I have my last before and afters going up in the morning. And uh, just stay on track tomorrow. Christy's coming over with Sophia. And uh, I'll just make smart choices again tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. So thanks a lot for watching. Thank you for supporting me and encouraging me. And... Just always be in there for me. You, you really help me out more than you'll ever know.